What is going on guys and girls welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as how's Sunderland during the Andal invasion and uh, in between episodes I always look around the map to see if uh, new things new interesting things have happened that I might have missed in the episode and that's actually the case right now two things have happened first of all Lorath has been destroyed uh, or more importantly the king Carlon the Great and his realm has been destroyed by the dragon lords most likely because if you ever look here at the religion we can see there is a lot of ruins uh that's how i found out about it actually so yeah that happened and um one other thing you can see if you look closely look at this yep some uh, someone else has taken over here uh, the graftons have taken over gull town i feel like this is a scripted event i like it uh because um historically what happened was that gerald Grafton actually managed to take away Gulltown from the Shets. In fact, uh, his daughter, an heir to the kingdom, is actually still married to a, to a Shet who is now converted, uh, but who also still has a strong claim. And several of his, yeah, well, his concubine and children and so on and so forth um, have been imprisoned. So, yeah, that's an interesting, um, that's an interesting development. It's specifically interesting because this is the I guess third province now that's going to convert to the Faith of the Seven after, well, Midlow Point and Pebble, which Lord Jasper Rothermond now controls. Okay, uh, but yeah, so this is interesting, and there's now two independent Andal Lords in the Vale, but uh, more to come for sure. For now, we're going to be moving on forward. I, um... Ooh, I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged. Our spy master, Edmund the Beguile. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a cool name. I don't know who he is. He's a traveler? Wow, this guy is kind of interesting. He wants an honorary title. You know what? Just because you're so cool, I might make you my cupbearer. You know what? Yeah, you, he just, he seems just cool. I don't know. But yeah, so our friend Will of Sweet Sister... He could be discouraged. You know, we're going to ask him politely to, like, not do that. But then again... Um... You know what? I'm actually not going to talk about this. We don't need to. He's, a, he's our friend. He will not join any factions against us. So, yeah. I think that's the best course of action. Anyways, we're going to wait for... Well, I was going to say, we're going to wait for some of our troops to replenish. But then again, I saw that... Uh, the King Florian Coldwater over here, uh, he has, I think, lost the war to vassalize the Scorched Vale. And so maybe we should come over here. Also, the Scorched Vale would be right for the taking once more. So maybe this could be, uh, this could be really nice. But sacking a city would be amazing. I think we're just going to go back out to Reaving. Let's raise our ships too. And uh, let's toggle the looter here. And... Even though the Corbys have defeated us, I think um, I think this is fine. We'll just kind of have to try and stay away from them for a while. Anyways, let's get you guys all together. Let's get you grouped up. 1,400 men? I think that's more than what we started with last time. So, don't mind if I do. Alright, and then here, uh, we no longer have a good friend with us. We've got Master Tybalt now, who is actually really good too. He was our previous Castellan. Uh, he didn't really do too well, so maybe he's a better commander. Um, I hope it's for him, anyway. Alright, so we're gonna land here. There's obviously the Corbys still upset with us. We have to make sure that they don't fight us. But first, we're gonna we are going to attack again. Sure. Uh, hopefully, victorious. Yes. Once more. No, the enemies are no match for us. Great. We have 200 gold already. We are so rich. This is crazy. I mean, we do have to spend quite a lot of time, uh, quite a lot of gold. On just building up our stuff here. By the way, I found out why this is more expensive. We have the smugglers here, and they increase the uh, local build cost by 25%. So we definitely have to wait until this is over before, uh, yeah, before we do anything, before we build anything, because otherwise it's just a waste. Oh, what are you guys doing? Are you at war? Attacking Thomas of the Paps. Okay, I think he's going around this way then. So we shouldn't be. We shouldn't meet him. That would, that would be terrible. Actually, when these troops leave, this might be our time to strike. Now that I think about it. Okay, no, he's already attacked. I think they're going to be relatively quick. Although, look at this. Imagine. Ooh. Kind of want to... You know, we can always do this. We can always come back for the Cold Waters later. But middle point is open right now. You know what? I'm gonna try this. 
I'm gonna stop. This is such a good opportunity. We've been defeated by the Corby's uh, before that. Oh, and our mass at arms Peter has gathered up a great host of raiders lusting for plunder. Those are great news indeed. Another extra 300 men. Um. Uh, so, wait, why? Unit is not a special event unit, such as an organized raid summoned by a... Uh, okay, hold on. Oh, I, I wasn't aware that the time kept on moving. Um, we'll join him, but first let's pause. So, hold on. Wait. So, I've got an extra hundred raiders here? Who are you then? I'm confused. I'm actually confused. Uh, let's get our ships over. So, I don't know. Can you raid? I'm. I don't know. Um, Lord Peter expertly guides us through the forest. It is clear he knows this area well. Peter tells we are looking for a wild boar. Oh, I, I thought we were going for. Uh, we're going for a hunt. I'm confused. What is going on? I'm, I'm so confused right now. What is happening? Why are we not looting anymore? Oh, can we not loot him again? I'm... I'm so confused right now. What is happening? I have no idea. Alright, we come across the boar we have been looking for, but Peter does not give the order to engage. I'm not sure if he's waiting in it out, unsure what to do, or if he's just being a coward. Uh, yeah, we'll take care of it ourselves. Then again, what is even happening right now? Can I just loot this? Why is this not possible? And there is the army of Durin Oakenshield. Somehow he has 200 men over here. I'm confused. Uh, Lupita has been very insistent about spending some time with me. Um. Yeah, honestly... I don't really have time for cowards right now. Um, so, are we sieging this now or what? We are looting. We're not... I'm confused. I'm just gonna leave. Alright. Well, the beast fell to the ground from all the wounds and all the retainers let out a loud cheer. Okay. Thanks for the fun occasion, I guess. So, hold on. So this I get to siege. Why did I get to siege the other thing? I don't know. But uh, the Paps, I believe, have been conquered. They've been definitely crushed. Yeah. Well, I'm actually making it easy for the Corbys. Wait, what have you added to your treasury? The Song of the Sea. How the lands were severed. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. You have 2,800 men. And he's gonna arrive. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure why I wasn't able to siege this. It's kind of confusing to me, but whatever. I guess I'll just keep on moving. We do... Yeah, we do get to raid this at some point. Okay, cool. We'll just stay here. The raiding party my mass at arms gathered up to fight for the for me have grown tired of my effeminate pacifism. Pa yeah, and had gone home to their wives, but not before picking up everything they could find of value. Yeah, okay, so this completely did like this completely did not work. I don't know why they couldn't join the raid. Have your master arms gather men for a great raid, for plunder and glory. If you don't use these troops for raiding... Yeah, well, I couldn't. That seems like a bug. You know, I'm just gonna go back to training troops, because this apparently was not useful. That should have, like, it should have diff definitely worked differently. I'm not, I really don't know what's going on here, but whatever. It's fine. Um, we have finally taken cold, cold water burn. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We take the king. We could even we could imprison the entire family, dude. What up? That is insanity. How is that possible? Why have you raised men? Methods of Crane's host. 
Oh, there's an Andal Kamet coming. Okay. He's likely going to be successful, though. Either way. So, first of all, we get to decide upon a Salt Wife. We could pick the Queen. Or Princess Riona Bolton. Interesting. Or Bea Bolton. She's ugly, so no. Hard pass there. This one, though, interesting. So, wait, you have married into the Boltons twice? Hmm. Apparently so. And you are... You are the queen. Designated regent. Yeah. 36. You're 39. But I definitely don't want the ugly one. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go with Princess Ryona of the Dreadford. I like the look of her. And, uh... Then... Hmm... Let me see. Well... Oh my god. We could... All captured prisoners... Imprison the entire family. Sure. We've imprisoned everybody. Holy shit. What to do with them all? I have actually no clue. So we've got the king here. Leonilla. Um. Oh. Oh, yes. We can sell them all into slavery. Yeah, that's what we'll do. For sure. Okay. Well, first of all. Raymond. Uh, so long as Raymond is in your custody, perhaps he could be put... Okay, if we enslave him, we can force marriage. One of our courtiers. Oh, this is really interesting. I like this. Okay, so we have a couple options we can do. We've got the cold water girls. The heir to cold water burn. Hmm. Alright, so we've got a couple of options. I, I'm definitely thinking about in, enslaving mo most of those. So how does this work? Is in your custody? Perhaps he could be put... Okay, so he could become enslaved. So he's our slave now. And... Ah, I see. So there's a couple things we can do. Um, we can also make him our bodyguard. Which I don't think I will. Let's try and sell him into slavery. Uh, yeah, sell him. Um, time to do some business here. You take Titus in chains to meet with a man by the name of Shatak. Okay. I see. Okay. So he doesn't want to buy him. Oh. You take Titus cold one in chains to meet with Shakdan. Um... He carefully inspects Titus for over an hour before finally turning you and naming his price. What? For an hour? 75 gold! Hell yes, Titus! Thank you, my man. Uh, we're gonna be able to build our, uh, our pirate den relatively quickly with this. This was so good. This was so good. Alright, so, um, we're gonna, we're gonna obviously continue with this. I, I wonder how much the king is worth. Oh, I can't enslave him. Interesting. That's actually interesting. Leonilla, she's so old, but she could be enslaved. Okay, let's let's enslave everyone here that we have, like Ryan. Wait, what? I was just gonna say, wait, who's Ryan? Why is he a Sunderland all of a sudden? This first man, he's actually a really good fighter. Hmm. Uh. In prison, for religion. Let's enslave him. He absolutely hates us. But I think we'll make him in... Ah. Uh, Ryan. He is probably going to be... We can sell him off a lot. Alright, time to do some business. 40 gold. Hmm, it's actually not that much. But I'll take it. I think we're just going to sell them all off. Alright, sorry. Uh, this might take a little bit, but uh, yeah. Let's enslave... Oh, or we can try and change their religion. Like, the children? I think I'm actually going to keep the children. I wonder if I enslave the children. What's going to happen with them? Okay, this one's too late. He's going to be enslaved. Yes, okay, we're enslaving 13-year-olds now. Uh, sure. And we're going to sell them too. Time to do some business. Let's see what we get for this guy. 15 gold. Because mm. he's just a child, I, su I assume. 
You know, I think he might be worth more when he's come of age. So, yeah. Rayella, you're only zero years old. Uh, I want you to... Yeah, I want you to get a better focus heritage there. You're not going to be enslaved just now. Raymond, though, you'll be enslaved. And we'll sell you, too. It's a bit of a... It's a lot of micro. For sure. But, okay. So this one doesn't seem too useful. He can't really be sold. So I think um, I make him a bodyguard. For now. And then Florian. Enslave him, too. Oh, I can sell him into slavery immediately, too. 15 gold. Maybe a better price. Uh, hmm. I think we... I think it's because they're children. That's not really all that good. Let's just enslave him for now. And then we'll see. Okay. And Alba. You're married to the Princess of Wayfarer's Rest. Now uh, we'll sell you into slavery immediately. Let's see what we can find. 15? Come on. More than 15. I want 40 gold for this guy. Ah. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. What's your personal combat skill? Not too bad. We were really lucky with that first one, I feel like. What about this kid? Come on. Give me more. More than 15. I'll sell him immediately. Alright. This is not working out. He's got cancer. So... Actually, nah, whatever, it's fine. And then, Perrien. Uh, she'll be enslaved. Actually, we'll have her as a breeding sla uh, slave with Alba. Yeah, you'll be breeding. You're commanded to uh, lay with her. And attempt, you attempt to get Alba to see reason, but he stands defiant. You'll have to beat me to death and let him fuck my corpse. Um, oh, wow. Nah, we'll, we'll do it, though. Oh, and he died. Alba, cold water. Well, so much for that plan. Yeah, so that, he died. Okay. Uh, what about you? Um... Can you... Can I breed you with Perian? So, your brother just died. Or your family member, I don't know. But uh, Perian looks hesitant, but you make it very persuasive case. Yes, okay, so she'll do it. And uh, Ermin looks hesitant, but yeah, he... Okay, we just killed someone, so I, I assume... Um, yeah. You're going to uh, agree to this. Very good. Okay, so that's nice. So we've got all the slaves, and then you. Uh, we will find we will find some way to uh, to have fun with you. But for now, after we have uh, dealt with all the slaves, let's actually uh, finish our sieges here. This took quite a long time, but that's because the Cold Waters have such a huge family. Oh, did we kill the heir? Oh, we actually did. Yeah, and Princess Lietha. Married to a mutant. How we not get her? I don't know. We might still be able to. Um, we have a child that lacks an education focus. Florian. Mm, sure. We'll give you a stewardship education. I would like to sell you at some point. Okay. Now, terrain is key to winning battles. If I focus my... Studies. I believe I can master tactics of one type of terrain. I think mountain expert is the best because we have mountainous terrain basically all like everywhere in the sisters. So that makes sense. And obviously in the veil, it makes sense too. Okay. My slave should, I guess, the basic equipment, sure. Fine. We'll give him some. I mean, otherwise, he's not going to be worth anything. So, yeah. Okay. Amara. What is this? This character is fluent in many of the spoken lang- Oh, this is actually pretty useful. I think, uh, yeah, she shall be our concubine. But just because she's useful. 
Uh, very nice. All right, so we've taken the city and we'll take the god's wood as well. Uh, concubine Julia is with child. Okay, very good. Let's finish the raid here though. And what's this? A spy master. Can't shut up because we're cynical. We're actually not. We're just cruel now. All right. And who's this? The army of the Sunrise Keep. Wow, he has a lot of men. And there is uh, the Andals landing. And the Scorched Vale. Yeah, he's going to be successful there. Okay. I was approached by a group of high-class Kurisans during a nightly fair. They come to you a gift from Lord Peter. Hmm. Not bad at all. Okay, so he wants to win us over. Cool. Okay. And Alyssa... Shall we take her? Sure. Sure. Alright, so that's Cold Water Burn. Burned. Mm, we can't really do anything about Snakewood, so I think... What can we do here? We could raid a little bit, but very little. I think uh, this has been quite a success. We're going to return home, and uh, there's a little bit of loot here as well. We might almost be able to uh, upgrade our pirate den, but yeah, that was really, really good. I have to uh, decide what to do with the rest, with the king specifically. We can actually force marry the king, maybe to our daughter, but you know, she's only five years old. No, that's not happening. All right. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you next time.